today, we will see some examples of profit and loss. Example 1. A person purchased a television for 12,800 rupees and sold it at a loss of 12%. Find out what the selling price of the television would have been. Cost price of the television is equal to 12,800 rupees. Loss percent is 12. This means on every 100 rupees of cost price, there is a loss of 12 rupees. We can say that on every 1 rupee of cost price, there is a loss of rupees 12 by 100. Therefore, the total loss on 12,800 is equal to 12,800 into 12 by 100, which is equal to 1,536. Selling price of the television is equal to cost price minus loss or SP is equal to CP minus loss, which is equal to 12,800 minus 1,536, which is equal to 11,264. Thus, the selling price of television is rupees 11,264. Example 2. The cost price of one cycle is 2,340. What would be the percentage profit or loss for selling it at rupees 1,600? Cost price of the cycle is equal to 2,340. Selling price is 1,600 rupees. Here, cost price is greater than the selling price. That means this has resulted in a loss. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price, which is equal to 2,340 minus 1,600, which is equal to 740 rupees. Loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100, which is equal to 740 by 2,340 into 100, which is equal to 31.62. Therefore, if the cost price of the cycle is 2,340, then selling it at 1,600 incurs a loss of 31.62 percentage. Example 3. The selling price of a chair was rupees 600. If the shopkeeper sold it for 20% profit, then based on the given information, find the cost price of the chair. Selling price of the chair is equal to 600 rupees. Here, selling price tells us that the shopkeeper sold the chair for rupees 600. Selling this at this price gave him a profit of 20%. We have to find the cost price, that is, cost at which the shopkeeper purchased the chair. In the previous video, we have learnt that profit percent is equal to profit by cost price into 100. That means 20 is equal to profit by cost price into 100. That is, 20 by 100 is equal to profit by cost price. Profit is equal to 20 by 100 into cost price. We can also write this as profit is equal to 20% into cost price. What do you understand from this? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. 20% of the cost price is profit. Let us suppose you have been given P percentage profit. Then it means P percent part of the cost price is profit. Similarly, if you have been given L percentage loss, then it means L percent part of the cost price is loss. You already know that profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So, we can say that selling price minus cost price is equal to 20 by 100 into cost price, which is equal to 1 by 5 into cost price. We can rearrange this and write it as Selling price is equal to 1 by 5 into cost price plus cost price. Now using the distributive property of multiplication, if we write cost price outside the bracket, then inside the bracket we get 1 by 5 plus 1. Since 1 by 5 plus 1 is equal to 1 by 5 plus 5 by 5 is equal to 6 by 5. So selling price is equal to 6 by 5 into cost price. Multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of 6 by 5, that is 5 by 6, we get selling price into 5 by 6 is equal to cost price. 
that is cost price is equal to 5 by 6 into selling price therefore cost price is equal to 5 by 6 into 600 which is equal to 5 into 100 which is 500 rupees thus the cost price of the chair is rupees 500 today we have seen some examples on profit and loss in the next video we will see some misconceptions related to profit and loss.